With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, this is our question. Let me explain it to you. Given the cell, the cell is given to us here. The E cell is given as 0.0, .0 volt and the E naught for the cadmium, 2 plus 2 cadmium is given as minus 0.39 volt. Then we have to find the KSP of cadmium hydroxide. So from the cell, we know that first of all, we would be writing the anode and cathode. So left hand side, we are having the anode and on the right hand side, we have the cathode reaction. Okay, so if we write what is happening at the anode, basically oxidation, cadmium solid is basically getting converted to cadmium 2 plus ions with the liberation of two electrons and if we talk about the cathode there is gain of electron H plus ions are basically gaining the electron and liberating the hydrogen gas balancing the reaction 2 H plus and 2 electron so if we write the net reaction that is taking place here cadmium with 2 H plus ions in the aqueous is basically liberating the cadmium 2 plus ions in the aqueous state plus hydrogen gas. The pressure is given as 1 bar in the question only concentration of ions is also given. Okay, So from here if we apply the Nost equation then according to the expression of Nost equation over here we know that EMF of the cell will be equal to E0 of the cell minus 0 0.0591 divided by n. n value is 2 here because electron exchange uh, 2 is taking place. Into log of concentration of product ions here we would be having cadmium 2 plus ion multiplied with the pressure of hydrogen gas divided by we will be uh, not considering the solid reactant or solid product so we will just directly take h plus raised to the power stoichiometric coefficient that is 2 okay so first of all we will be calculating a few parameters that we require here first of all e naught of the cell is not being calculated yet so that will be equal to e of cathode minus e of anode okay so putting the cathode that is given as 0, 0.0 volt minus for anode emf is minus 0.39 so from here E0 of the cell comes out to be equal to plus 0.39 volt. Okay. Apart from this we also require the concentration of H plus ions. So for that we can simply use the expression that H plus ions into OH negative ion according to the solubility of water will be equal to 10 raised to power minus 14. So H plus ion concentration from here will be equal to 10 raised to power minus 14 divided by 10 raised to power minus 2. 10 raised to power minus 12. Okay, how 10 raised to minus 2? Because for NaOH, basically 0 0.01 molar concentration is already given. So for OH ions, we have used this value. Okay. Now putting these the respective values in the Nost equation, E cell is given already as 0. This will become equal to E0 of the cell, which we just calculated, came out to be equal to 0 0.39 volt minus 0 0.059 divided by 2 into log of cadmium 2 plus ion concentration is to be calculated pressure of hydrogen given as 1 bar and we have calculated H plus ion concentration as 10 raised to minus 12 raised to the power square okay so on solving cadmium 2 plus ion concentration from here comes out to be equal to 10 raised to power minus 11 Okay, now after this, we will be applying the equation for the solubility product of cadmium hydroxide. It will be breaking down to give us cadmium ions and two hydroxyl ions. Okay, so applying the solubility product constant here, that will be equal to concentration of cadmium ions and hydroxide ion raised to the power of stoichiometric coefficient. Okay, cadmium 2 plus ions, we have calculated concentration 10 raised to minus 11. OH ion 10 raised to minus 2 square so from here the value comes out to be equal to 10 raised to power minus 15 for ksp going above and matching the options then option c is correct okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today